Really interesting look at this. We've got uh, Craig Crawford coming back, who's a really smart and funny guy in his own right. And then we got Will Durst, who's a really funny and smart guy in his own right. <laughs> it's an interesting combination. Stay right there. We'll be right back. He's the author of the book that's called The All-American Sport of Bipartisan Bashing. I read this guy's stuff over the weekend. Trust me. Funny. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, we also have Craig Crawford, who's standing by with us as well. And he's kind of funny in his own right as well. <laughs> ah, but Will's the champ. <laughs> All right, yeah. let, Will, Will, Will Durst makes me laugh, laugh the way old Yeller made me cry. Oh, that's oh a thank good, you, that, That's a good line. All right, so I've been trying to do this all day long, right? I, I, I'm being fed numbers, and I'm trying to draw them out. And we just told folks that that 7 turned into an 8 which turned that nine into an eight to get to 216. Hey, Will, I gotta tell you, this whole health care thing is really confusing for most Americans. Well, I wanna thank you for clearing it up with your cutting edge technology, too. <laughs> I, I, no, I love the whiteboard. I, I love the fact that, you know, we're getting back to basics, which is what health care should be. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to help in any way. Do you feel, how do you feel this president has been handling this uh, situation? Well, he's been kind of focused on it, but he's, I mean, people are crazy, and you've seen the rhetoric. I mean, it's ratcheted up to a level. If, if you're not screaming across the outer orbit of Neptune, nobody hears you. You got, you got Rush Limbaugh threatening to leave the U.S. if health care passes, which for a lot of people is a big win-win. <laughs> <laughs> you agree, Craig? Yeah, I was just thinking about your high high tech technology there. If, if this thing becomes <laughs> as historic as Medicare, you need to save that for the Smithsonian. I oh, think. you're right. We can maybe yeah. give that or hey, the hell with the Smithsonian. Let's put it on eBay and see if we can make a couple of bucks, right? <laughs> right there well, you so, go. Somehow I don't think CNN's going to let me do that. Now, a, a big part of how this got started a year ago was with uh, tea parties, uh, Will, and and folks were going out and they were saying that they were just dead set against health care. What was your impression? of that movement back when it first started against health care? Well, I, I, I think uh, these people, a lot of these things always get hijacked by the fringes. I mean, it happens on the left with the anti-war protests. You know, you always got the sea turtle people. And it happened on the right with the black helicopter people. You know, government is bad, get government. I, I saw a guy with a sign that said, stop socializing America and hands off my Medicare. Well. <laughs> Dude, at least use two different signs, you know? <laughs> he did, didn't he? Do you, w why were they confused, so many of the folks in these movements? And, well, you know, look, on the, on the left and on the right, uh, why, why do you believe, Craig, that they, they were so confused? Well, I think fear is always such a great motivator. I, I actually learned the other day that the, the part of your brain that creates fear is actually more evolved than the reasoning part of your brain. <laughs> really? The way the, way the, brain, the brain's actually the circuitry of the brain. <laughs> so, so fear is always going to trump reason. How, how big a role do you think talk radio had? Because, uh, look, I live here in Atlanta, and it's not to say that one side is better than the other, but there's only one side here. When I get in my car on my way home now, I can only hear, outside of urban radio or Spanish radio, I can only hear one opinion, and that's the opinion that says that Barack Obama is a dangerous man and a bad president. Well, I, I, I think what happened is it, it, it got ratings, and I think... What Craig said about fear is exactly right. I mean, but everybody was trying to scare people. The left was trying to scare people about what happens if we don't get health care, and the right was trying to scare people about what happens if we do get it. But the problem is, the Republicans are much more scary. I mean, you look at Mitch McConnell, he looks like a reanimated Halloween pumpkin. That's so, not fair. I know. That's, that's not even close to being fair. There's I some, know. There's some odd looking Dems. Hey, uh, <laughs> speaking of odd Dems. Uh, since you just put that thought in my head, I'm going to ask you about Eric Massa. That thing was crazy last week. What was your take on it, Will? Well, it was crazy, you're right. And uh, Eric Massa, the Democratic congressman from New York, who, of course, is known amongst his congressional staffers as Tickle Me Eric. I mean, this guy <laughs> was too crazy for Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck washed his hands of him. And that's when you know you're entering odd territory. <laughs> And Craig, then, uh, your you know, take. Then, what's Eric your Ma punctuation on that? Well, Eric Massa <laughs> delivered us another great moment uh, later in the week when Patrick Kennedy went on his rant against against the media for covering Massa instead of the Afghan pullout resolution he was debating. And by the way, he ended up voting against it.
uh, even though he was complaining about the press not covering it. Which proves once again that Crazyville can be visited by either side at any time <laughs> and when you least expect it. Hey guys, this was great. We'll have to do this again. I think it's a great way to close out the week.